Shabbat Shalom. I'm so enjoying this special edition of PowerPoints dealing with the removal of the spirit of fear. I love this verse, and it's in Psalm 34, in verse 2, it says, My soul shall boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, child of God, if you, you need some friends that are humble and are excited that you're being blessed. I, I, I don't know how to impart this to you, but you need a few people around you that, you know what, you could pick up that phone and say, you know, today I prayed for this person in the parking lot. It was a small thing, but I could tell that their back was bothering them, and I helped take their groceries and put it in the car, and then that opened the door, and I said, can I pray? And I just laid hands on their back, and God healed them. You need somebody that's just going to go, yes! You know, you don't have to be Reinhard Bunke, and yes, I have 55 million souls in Africa. No, that, so you need somebody. You need a cheerleader. You need somebody that will be glad. You need somebody that's going to be happy for you because in the baby steps, you need to step out. See, if you were bound by the fear that you had a couple weeks ago, you'd have never gone into that parking lot situation. You would have thought, oh, this and that. But you know that the, the glory of God is around you. His shield is around you as a buckler. His word is in you, and it's a guarantee it's going to perform and heal that person. So I'm going to encourage you to step out. I want to encourage you to get some friends around you. I want to encourage you to spend less time with the doubt and unbelief friends and spend time with those that will be glad and will be humbled and say, oh, mighty is our God. And he works through us. He's called us. He's chose us. We bind that spirit of fear. We cast it down into the lake of fire and we loose that spirit on this Shabbat. This Shabbat Shalom, we say, Father God, visit us, O Lord, Father God. My soul, not my spirit, my soul, my mind, my will and emotions, boast in my God. Despite my weakness, despite all the circumstances, my God performs his word. It shall not come back void. It shall prosper in that which it is sent to do. Now, join us tonight, 745 for the Shabbat service. Get a now word from God. Get a fresh injection of faith and see God working powerfully, even through the internet with you. And if you're close by, come and join us this night. It's going to be powerful. Shabbat Shalom. Tomorrow we have a special service. It's Tish B'Av. It's the 9th of Av. We've invited all, through different lists and our mailing list over 7,000 people to join us here at House of David for a special immersion service. We'll be fasting. We'll be praying. We'll be blowing the shofars, and we'll have a worship team here in our immersion room where the nations are coming, bringing the tribes and the denominations into the water, trusting God to remove from us all the idolatry from the land, as it says in Zechariah 13, 1 and 2, that out of house of David, that this fountain has been opened to remove us from the uncleanness, things we don't know about, things that... We need to carry our denominations into the water. We need to be carrying our ethnos, our nations into the water. We'll have Jews coming into the water. We'll have First Nations coming into the water. We'll have Gentiles coming into the water. All of us in desperate need. When Moses was sent to Egypt, to Goshen, what he said to Pharaoh was, let my people go that they might worship me. Come, be immersed with us, six o'clock, July the 28th, this Saturday, bring some dark swimwear with you, a couple of towels, bring some people with you. You need to come early, and let's immerse into a new nation. Let's immerse into the one new man, so that God can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think. May the idolatry in America be come down, as those who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Turn from their wicked ways. And the Lord says, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Come to Indian country. Come to the land of House of David. Come and be immersed into your destiny. And let's decree, let my people go. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Shalom.